as a uh, township official, um, I was glad to hear you mention townships. Uh, but the other thing is that most people in this area, in fact, in the state of Michigan, live in townships. And um, up this area, especially, the property values are not high. So every mill that we ask the people to vote on, which they haven't been approving, still brings in very little money. And for the past 10 years, the state has been reducing its revenue sharing amount. So it's harder for the townships to do their job. Um, so one, I encourage you to support more money coming to the local governments. Secondly, uh, talking about the infrastructure, uh, MDOT and the governor, this governor and previous governors and the legislature have been working on a new way of funding roads. And uh, from what I understand, if we don't come up with a new way of funding the roads and increase our funding for roads, we're going to lose the federal matching grants. If that happens, we're going to be in a sorry state. As you know, the roads up here, although they're not heavily traveled, we do have logging that uses them, and then with the freeze and thaw, that takes a toll on the roads. And if we don't improve in some way, shape, or form and increase the funding for roads, nobody will come up here because the roads will be so bad. So I encourage you to work on that. Definitely. I, I feel very strongly about it with the transportation system. I work for MDOT. I see it firsthand what's happening with our roads. We need to be able to put a billion dollars back into the road system immediately to get it to where it needs to be so we don't lose it any further. And that's why I truly believe that we've got to take a look at building on the rail system. It's so very important to be able to not squeeze out trucking, but to be able to take some of those massive, heavy loads off of those roadways, maybe just in the spring thaw area time where they can start transport, you know, tra transporting some of this lumber in that out of here on the rail on those bad times of year because it's killing our roads and the bridges. And I think there's one other big issue out there that I'm going to be relaying this to the Department of Transportation is the salt usage on our roads. The salt usage is breaking down the concrete and the blacktop on our roads. So I'm all for making sure that we have safe roads, but I think we got to really take a look at what it's causing and structural damage. I think that we should start looking at using more sand like we used to up here back in the day, because it's very costly to use that salt on our transportation system, and it's very costly because it's breaking down the bridges and it's deteriorating a lot of the road projects. So I think that's something that we're going to have to look at. I can see, like I say downstate, that my colleagues in the freshman class, you folks down here need bare pavement to have it wet year round because you don't know how to slow down or drive like we do at the UP. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's something that we definitely need to look at because it is increasing our cost. It is in keep increasing our cost. We have always tried to pass on this idea to the State of Michigan Department of Transportation. If we look at bridges, that's the most expensive project in our road system. Coming out of maintenance, we don't do enough maintenance on the bridges in the springtime, in washing bridges, and having a, sweet, a street sweeper on those bridges to get that material off of those cracks around the concrete. That's what's doing it. We're getting a lot of salt decay because of the amount of salt that's used and it gets in the joints and then you start having erosion with the concrete. So I think that, you know, it's again taking a look at state government, what can we do to spend good dollars on doing maintenance so down the road we don't have these big costs. And that's one of my ideas. Well, just to follow up on that, you know, you talk about sand. Around here the county uses a lot of stamp sand. And we in the townships have run into a problem. Um, many of the larger communities, the cities and all, they have back trucks. And the, e the uh, Michigan Department of Environment has stated that all the stamp sand that is put on the roads is fine. But once it goes into our uh, storm drains, it becomes a toxic asset. And for us then to pump out in the various communities that we have, it's very, very expensive because we just can't pump it out and we can't even give it back to the uh, county to reuse. They won't let us. So whatever happens when that stamp sand hits the road, it becomes toxic for whatever reason. 
uh, we need that to, to change because before we used to suck it out and right. and take care of it. It's right. many times the county would take it back. Sure. That was a nice, efficient system. We can't do that anymore. Well, I think that that was another case where big business did get into that point of wanting to take that material, have it transferred to a waste station because they classified it as a hazardous material because it came on that storm drain. It's not a hazard material. It's not hazardous. I understand that. It's in the storm drain. It's the same stuff that's over on the pile. It's the same stuff that's in Gay, Michigan over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in our waters. So I know that is, that is an issue that I know well and it's on a list. I do have a list on the issues that are important up here that I know it's affecting local communities. The other thing is that talking about that with the township level things, shared services with the state of Michigan, they have back all trucks. I think that that's something also that needs to be done where a lot of this equipment can be shared. Yeah, well, and so the township, yeah. Yeah. well, I know they don't want to share it, but it's all our equipment. Mm -hmm. Yes. 